The grass won the 100 meters, they won the medal less than 100 meters, so I knew it was looking pretty good. So on the outside, I said, if I come out with him first, when I get to the straight, I should play around with him because I knew he was going to slow down. So I knew that if I stay with him and stay relaxed, it's going to be a good race. Okay, so now you're in the next round. What are the. Um, what, what's your target in the next round? What are you going to work on? Uh, next round is try to qualify for the final. That's the main thing, try to qualify for the final and take it from there. Now, if you look at your journey from the juniors to the stage now, you actually have come a long way and you have a, your fair share of injuries as well. <laughs> now that you're healthy and all that, um, what's, what are you going to, What do you think you've changed that have brought you this far? Uh, you know, previously in the previous years, I used to focus on the time, trying to run fast times early on. So this year it was more different, had a different approach. Try to come to the championship to try actually do well, maybe get a medal. So my main focus was preparing for the championship, not the times. So basically, are, are you looking at next year? Tokyo is the target for most of the athletes here. Oh, yes, that's a big target because it's the Olympics. So if you do well at the championship, it automatically kind of you have an eighty percent chance of doing well the next year. So. Uh, that's why it's so important to do well in the championship. Okay, all right. Thanks so much. We'll wish you all the best in the next round. Thank you. Oh, yeah, just, just, just one quick one. What, what really is working for South Africa? We look at the continent, you have Dobodwana, you have Simbini coming through, and then you also, you know, part of the system. What really is working for you? Uh, what is working for you in terms of your development? <laughs> no, I think it's. I think it's more of when you see the senior athletes do well, you also kind of have that thing of if you can do it, so can I. So it's just, just that thing because Wade, Akani, and Anasu in 2015, they did really well in Beijing and then Rio 2016. So we kind of, I was still a junior back then, sort of motivation for me to see other old South Africans that we live with every day do that well in Rio and walk the previous world champs. So it just motivates us to do even better than the next championship that we go to. So how big a blow, for instance, is it, you know, ha not having Casta Semenya, for instance, around? How big a blow is it to the team, not having her here? It's a big blow because she's human after all, and she's running fresh, she's running clean, it's not like she's cheating. She's running really fair, and we support her. And it would be nice to see her reinstated for her to come run, because she is one of the best, and we all would like to see her achieve all the stuff that cannot be achieved, because she's a phenomenal athlete. She's very good and we'd all like to watch her and witness greatness when we watch her. She won that inspires a lot of people in South Africa. Yes, because she, she, she likes people. She likes she's a nice person. When you hang around her, she's nice, she talks to you nicely. She she motivates the young she motivates me as well when she speaks to me. So looking up I look up to her because after all she's 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 achieved, she's still a normal person and down to earth and humble. So for me, I like looking up to someone like that. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you.